Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to start off with our third weekly video as we're going to highlight the effect of globalization on languages, history, and at the same time technology. You can see such actually inventions prove um, that globalization isn't actually new. Now for example, imagine you're living in the town that had just had a railway station built during the 19th century. However, now you can travel far more easily to locations that in, in the past may have taken you several days to get to. So as you can see, we have differences and the counter arguments, however, shows that the speed of globalization has been rapidly increasing in the past few decades and especially in the 21st century. Now to summarize our points, we'll say globalization is not a new concept, but its scope and impact have evolved over time due to technology advancements, changing economics and political landscapes. And now we're going to start off our week with Think, Pair, Share. And as we're going to start off with a very famous quote that says globalization is unstoppable. Furthermore, we shouldn't want it to basically stop. So we're going to focus on basically highlighting the concept of globalization in regard to change sustainability. And at the same time, we're going to study the major effects, generally speaking, of that concept on uh, languages specifically. And as part of the collective reflection, students are going to make mind maps regarding the following questions like, what is globalization and is globalization new and what are the negative causes of globalization? So as I said previously, we're not going to study only the opportunities that are held by globalization. We're going to study two, the challenges that basically globalization can cause on different themes and subjects. Then we're going to study actually the effect of globalization more specifically on English as a language. So English has become the lingua franca of a lot of international businesses and technology. And actually, as you can see, we're not going to study only the opportunities that globalization can create, but also the challenges that basically um, the concept can create on even a lot of languages and cultures at the same time. As you can see, English is the dominant language of the Internet, which is a major driver of globalization. Um, and as you can notice, nowadays, most online content, including websites, social media platforms, and software, all of them are in English, making it um, an accessible, basically, language to a global audience. While English facilitates globalization, it can also create inequalities, as not everyone has access, equal access, actually, to English language education or even resources. So, in summary, English is a central driver of globalization, facilitating communication, trade and cultural exchange on a global scale. However, its dominance also raises questions about equity and cultural diversity in globalized uh, world too. And as you can see in each collective reflection, students are going to reflect on the causes of globalization on English translation specifically. So what role does Chinglish play in cross-cultural communication and how does it even impact on understanding between native Chinese speakers and English speakers? Are there instances where Chinglish has unintentionally conveyed a completely different meaning, leading to laugh or misunderstanding? In what ways does Chingling highlight um, the challenges of translation between languages with different linguistic even structures. So we're going to study even the effect of globalization on translation. Um, and is it positive or negative at the same time? And what basically impacts uh, did it basically cause? Is it positive or negative too? So we're going to study um, and reflect on that at the same time. The last basic idea that we're going to have uh, in this week is dying languages and their fading stars in the sky is uh, basically it was described obviously. There's special ways of talking that hold stories from long ago but now not many people speak them anymore and they might disappear. These languages are like a window into different basically cultures and old traditions. So we're talking about the effect of globalization generally speaking and technology on languages. So we have dominant basically languages and we have fading languages and uh, they're in danger at some point. So we're going to study even the effect of technology Technology and how could it be used in order to basically save these uh, languages? Um, and that's it for our class. Um, see you.